Hello again and welcome to Nutrition and Cooking with Patty. Uh, today I'm going to bring you another soup in my uh, rice cooker um, uh, cooking uh, series where um, I show you how you can make a whole meal um, in a rice cooker and, and um, as I was saying before you know it cooks in about 20 minutes and it's perfect for people who are just cooking for themselves um, or they're cooking for themselves and their partner or one other person uh, you don't want to make a lot um, you know so this is kind of like a perfect size and, and also um, we're all busy and so this is a, uh, a meal that you can pretty much make in 20 minutes and it, it's a delicious nutritious meal in just 20 minutes that you've made with all whole foods so today I'm going to be showing you a vegetable miso soup it's pretty simple. The ingredients can be easily gotten uh, in the produce market um, or online. So I'm gonna just take you through the ingredients um, and then chop them up and we'll, we'll take it from there. So um, the most important thing in a miso soup probably would be the miso. So um, I got this online, some stores carry it. This is an organic white miso. Um, I am going to be putting in um, another important ingredient of course is kale so I've got a couple of um, you know uh, leaves of kale and I'm just going to destem them and I destem by kind of coming back like this and taking the kale leaf off and that I will chop I've got some shiitake mushrooms I'll cut those up a bit more and put those in I've got ginger, I won't use all of this, I'll use probably about an inch of it. Um, I've got my onion, I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, I kind of always do that. Um, I am going to be using kombu. Kombu, I'm just gonna take out, and you can see it kind of comes in a, in a piece like this. I don't need this whole piece, I'll probably just take half, I'll break off half and put that in. Um, and that gives a wonderful flavor and nutrition to your soup and um, I'm gonna put wakame in. So this is something you can either get at a, at a store or you can also uh, order it online. Um, I, I'm going to include about a half a cup of brown rice in my soup today and um, a heaping tablespoon of umboshi paste. This is um, from the Mboshi um, Plum, and it's full of antioxidants and flavor. It's very, very healing, and it's wonderful to add to this kind of soup. The soup is still going to be great, even if you can't find a Mboshi Plum paste, but if you can, it's a real great uh, nutritional addition to, uh, to this soup. All right, and that's it. So I'm gonna um, get to chopping, and preparing and then the next step will be putting it all in and letting the rice cooker do the rest okay so i have everything chopped and prepared and ready to go and i am just going to add my ingredients to my little rice cooker all right um i'm going to put the kombu in first now this is not i'm not going to eat this this is just put in for flavoring and nutrition um, and again, I use just about a half a piece, and I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to put my my onion in. I used a half an onion, basically, for this um, particular soup. Um, I am also putting in my garlic, my, my chopped garlic, and um, ginger, all right? And again, I used about an inch of the... Uh, of the ginger root and I just chopped it up really fine. So I'm just kind of putting all of that in. Um, next I'm going to put in my my kale. I just chopped that up, put that in there. I am putting in my shiitake mushrooms and I just kind of cut them up a little bit more. And so all of this stuff goes in there. Um, my umboshi, I'm just going to stick that in there. My miso. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna put in um, I'm gonna put in a healthy amount so we've got some miso here I'm gonna stick that in there and then of course um, oh and I'm sorry <laughs> I almost forgot my wakame I love wakame it's a wonderful seaweed and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle some in there a couple little sprinkles and that should be plenty 
Um, so we have our miso, our umboshi, our siwi, um, and now it's just kind of a half a cup of rice. I'm gonna put that in there. And then um, uh, I also season with uh, Himalayan pink salt and pepper. So use use that to taste. However much you know, it's uh, it makes it flavorful. Um, I like to wait on that because um, the uh, umboshi and the miso have a certain kind of salt content. So um, I like to wait and taste it before I um, before I add any of that. And then the next, of course, is just um, clean filtered water, and we're going to pour that in. Um, and pretty much uh, bring it up to where the um, the pot is is pretty full. All right, and um, and that's that. That's all. We're just going to kind of cover it, turn it on, and in 20 minutes we'll have a wonderful vegetable miso soup. Stay tuned. All right. So it has been 20 minutes. The rice cooker has done its job. We've got a wonderful batch of miso vegetable soup here. And, you know, if you're making this at home, you can make, you can do different variations. Um, Chinese cabbage, bok choy are wonderful additions to the soup. Um, what I've done is um, I've um, added some uh, of this. I like I love the snack mix. It's a uh, sprouted mung beans. I love it. It adds a little bit of crunch to the top. You can add tofu. Um, if I had tofu in the house, I probably would have put a few little pieces of tofu on there for um, for some protein. Um, what's nice about having the rice in there is that um, it it makes it it makes it a full meal. Um, so you pretty much have all of the nutrients you need in a bowl. And that's kind of the goal here, is to kind of have a whole meal made in a rice cooker in 20 minutes. So this is a vegetable miso soup. You can do different variations on it. It is delicious. I didn't add any salt. I didn't need any, but again, use salt and pepper to your taste. Um, if you wanted to add um, some liquid aminos uh, instead of soy, that's awesome. That adds a little bit of a flavor on top. Um, I have removed my um, the kombu. As you can see, it gets very big, um, kind of expands. But I took that out, and um, again, that adds an awful lot of flavor. So that is it for this soup. It's a vegetable miso soup made in 20 minutes in our little rice cooker. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.